Hi, my name is Chaplain Deborah A. Brown. I'm from the Non-Commissioned Officer Leadership Center of Excellence. Today, I want to talk to you about suicide. And in regards to suicide, I want to give you a quote and open up with a quote from a retired Sergeant Major, Kenneth Preston. He said, one suicide is one too many. Not all wounds are visible. If you are feeling depressed or suicidal, seek help. So that's something I want to talk to you all today about is seeking help. But most of all is to understanding the process and some of the risk factors that come with suicide. Now, we all go through something. When we go through something, the most important thing is not what you go through, but who you take it to. And who you take it to, there's resources that's out there to help you, whether it's a chaplain like myself, or there's Army One Source, or there's behavioral health. Whatever it is that you're going through, take it to someone. Find someone that you trust that you can vent to. But I also want to give you some of the risk factors. I know when I was in the Army coming up, they had my sergeant as a chaplain, a young candidate, used to say, pay attention to detail, pay attention to detail. He, he drilled that in my head so much to, to 15, or not really, 20 years later, I still understand that pay attention to detail. So today, in talking about suicide prevention, I want to give you a buzzword, pay attention to details. What you mean, chap? What I mean by that is pay attention to some of the risk factors that I'm going to with, go over with you in a few seconds. And those risk factors not necessarily always mean that someone's going to commit suicide, but they are some good, pretty warning signs for all of us to be aware of. So in looking at some of the risk factors, look at transition. Sometimes people transition out the military, going to retire, PCS, or whatever the case may be. A lot of stressors come upon them, and they get frustrated. Here's why I want you to pay attention to detail. Now, I don't want you thinking that everybody PCS or everybody that retire is about to commit suicide. No. What I'm saying is suicide is a com complex issue, but I want you to pay attention to details. Meaning, let's hear the pain. What do you hear when you hear when someone's telling their story or they're venting? You may hear the pain. Stay with them in that moment. And in that moment, be able to connect because you're able to connect with them if you hear the pain. Relationship problem. Oh my goodness, do we all go through some kind of type of relationship problem? Yes. Does that mean someone's going to always commit suicide? No. But if you feel something in your gut, some people want to call it the gut, intuition, from a spiritual side, they want to call it the Holy Spirit. Whatever it is in your gut, if you're feeling something that someone is going through, then ask them the question. You know, if you say, well, Chap, I feel kind of odd asking them, are you thinking about committing suicide because they're going through a relationship problem? Got it. But you can ask them, hey, I hear your pain. I hear something's wrong. Are you okay? And if they still repeating that pain and you still hear them constantly saying that something is wrong, then ask them that question. Ask the tough question. Hey, you're not thinking about hurting yourself, are you? Now, still the same question. You just phrased it differently. So that's what I mean by paying attention to detail. Job difficulty. Do we all have them? Yes. Will we all experience them? Time? Yes. But what may be a suck it up drive on to me may not be a suck it up and drive on to someone else. So those are the details you have to pay because everyone deal with their pain differently. Some people hold it in, some people let it out, some people go through behavior issues. Everyone is different when they go through pain, but the key to it is the pain. And it's being able to connect and listen to it if you're sitting and talking with someone. Financial issues. Oh, anyone can have financial issues. It doesn't matter if you're this rank or any rank. Anyone can go through financial issues. And just think, if you're going through financial issues and serious illness at the same time and then stressful period, now you add all of those things up. Can you imagine what could possibly go through some people's mind when they're going through all of that at the same time? That's the point I want you to pay attention to detail. Those are just some be aware of risk factors and other things. Or it could be family history. All I want you to understand is that it doesn't matter what you go through. What matters is who you take it to. And even in a complex issue as suicide, I want you to know that there is individuals out here that can give you the help. So the Army has our ACE card, right? Ask, care, and escort. Ask them the question. Care enough to listen and pay attention to the details. And then if they say they do, or they have a plan or don't have a plan, and it's just ideation, then escort them to the necessary help, but do not never leave them alone. Be attentive, be there, so that you hear what is going on in their life and that you're able to deal with it accordingly. You say, well, I'm not a chaplain. What am I supposed to do, go around and, and listen to everybody's problem? No, but you probably know pain if you experience it, because in this lifetime, we all know what pain means. I'm just asking that you listen to it and that you hear it. And when you hear the pain, then be more attentive and pay attention to details. So that's this 
particular segment that I want to talk to you this week about is paying attention to detail, looking at the warning signs of not just relationship, financial or situations that people go through, but listening for that pain and pay attention to that detail and then asking those questions. Are you OK? Are you straight? Are you all right? Do you do you need to go talk to someone? And then asking them that question if they say, well, you know what? I'm going to go get on my motorcycle and ride off the bridge. Then you know what? Take their keys and do not let them get on the motorcycle and drive off nobody bridge. Care enough, but most of all, escort them. Until next time, stay inspired, stay prayed up, but most of all, stay safe.